Good afternoon, folks. Mike Wells, Your World Explorer. Today is August the 15th, 2023. We're going to take a look at our squash plants. All right. <laughs> they don't look too happy. A few weeks ago, I noticed some loopworms crawling around on the leaves. So I sprayed them using BT Thuricide. What they'll do is they'll chew away these leaves and then they'll create a little cocoon underneath the leaf usually in a leaf fold and uh, and they turn into an insect after that and they fly away but uh, I think we have a different critter that is adversely affecting these squash plants folks my battle with keeping squash plants alive has is now stretching into years multiple years i have not been able to successfully grow squash plants here in florida not yet but i've learned a few things so uh i'm thinking that what we have are root knot nematodes who have intruded on our beautiful squash plants either that or something else like heat or a vine borer i don't know so let's let's investigate here there seem to be no root knot nematodes on this plant or am I mistaken here let's look closer no I don't see any on that one let's pull this one up it, it could it just be a serious heat issue Wow I don't see a single root knot nematode here so Maybe I was not mistaken. It could possibly just be the heat is so torturous that it's killing that it's killing my uh, squash plants. Well, I don't know folks. I'm not seeing evidence of anything that has killed these squash plants. Like I said, we had the root, the the loop worms. But yeah, now we have torturous heat. So I mean, I'm really not sure what it's going to take to grow amazing squash here in Florida. Maybe it's just not supposed to happen here in Florida. There was one time when I just threw some seeds in the ground, they grew well, and I had some squash. That was a while back, but I didn't document that situation. If you look here, yeah, it's just... I don't understand what's causing these guys to die. I mean, maybe it's... Maybe it's too much sun. Maybe the heat is just too strong for these guys to thrive. Maybe I've chosen the wrong location. I don't know. But I'm going to have to do some serious research. And I'm going to have to figure this out. Any, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps the channel grow. And stay tuned as I'll keep you updated on my progress in regard to these squash plants. Have a great day.